I'm going to start a series of PowerShell automation and this is the first uh, video that I cover very very basics of PowerShell okay so if you guys uh, already know the basics of PowerShell you can skip this video this video is for the people who are starting with the PowerShell so I'm going to make the entire series of PowerShell automation this is the first part where we cover the basics of the PowerShell basics in the sense I'm not going to cover all the basics of PowerShell I'm going to cover the things which is really needed for us to get started in the PowerShell. So we're going to see what is variables, how to get the input, how to make a loop function, how to export the results either in CSV or in text file. So these are the four things we're going to learn from here. Uh, we can add uh, condition if else function too. So if you guys understand these uh, five concepts, you are Good to start with the browser automation so these are the very basic things we I'm going to cover now uh, let's get started so how to declare a variable in PowerShell so you have to give a star and whatever the name followed by name so this is a variable so I'm going to uh, declare I'm going to set a variable uh, something for example I'm going to set a text to it so Whenever you set a text, it, it, it has to come between um, double quotes. Okay. So I'm going to set a name as Techish. Okay. It didn't put a double quotes. It will definitely throw up an error. So see, this is the error it will go up. So if, it, if you're going to give a string, it has to come as double quotes. The string is nothing but a set of characters. So set of characters is defined as a string. So how does the PowerShell know what type of uh, variable it is? So to understand that, you have to give a name dot get type. So if I run this, see it clearly shows us string. So I'm not, I'm not going to give a name here. I'm going to give a number here. So whenever you, you give a number, you don't need to put into the double quotes. Okay. So if I click on run, see now so let's clear this up so if i click this run you can see it has taken us integer so so based upon the input it de by default it takes c now i gave us a number it took it taken that as integer if i give a double quotes here so double quotes is always a string see it has taken a string though it's a number if you give inside a double quotes it will consider it as a string Let's clear this up. So, uh, how to declare an array in end? So, you have to give here another 16 or any other name or any name. So, so you, you are given, you are declared with a comma. So, if you declare something like this, then it will consider this as an array. If I run this, see by default it has taken the thing as a is. so by default it has taken string integer and an array so that's the thing i guys uh, i think you guys can understand the variables now so now we're going to get a user input so how to do that let's clear it up i'm going to get a user input the name i'm going to get read post i'm going to do enter the name see now it's showing up with uh, very clearly enter the name i'm going to enter the name as this on enter so there is no output so how to give an output is how to give double write post by those what is going to display as output as a name i'm going to display it as an output let's clear this up so the name is like this when i do enter see the output comes up so i'm going to add something with the output how can i do that you can do like my name is and ends with and in the output with double quotes see whatever string you're going to give you it has to be in double quotes okay 
is going to ask the name is okay, my name is Tanish. so you can continue and id is dollar of id you can give comma the id and subject and subjects are dollar of subject so if you click here it will ask for a name take case click here see it takes the user input and displays output so this is a very basic thing we have what we have learned i hope you guys are very much clear now with the uh, variables let's clear this up and we'll go for an next uh, topic so usually uh, what we will construct one notepad now Let's take one notepad. We're going to have uh, my PC one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. Usually, for a PowerShell automation, you will get some host names on IP addresses for us to get, uh, for us to do the automation part. So something similar like this. I'm going to save this. Uh, I'm going to save this in C drive. Oh, not in C drive. In G drive as host. Okay. This is my input file now. Okay. I'm going to do. But let's see first. So the I'm going to declare variable as uh, compute uh, host names or oh, computers. Okay. It's equal to. So you have to get that input, okay? So get that path inside. So what we are going to do is that file is in G drive, right? So it's a G drive host.txt. This is a path. I'm going to enclose this with double quotes. Okay. So what happens if I give something like this? What is, what is the output it will going to get? We'll see. Okay. The right host. computers so if i run this so it, it gives an output as this so get the content of this text file and store it into the variable so how to do this is it's very simple you can give get content hyphen part so if i run this what it will do is it will go inside this text file and to get the content of the text file and stores into the uh, the computer's variable. Okay. If I click this run, see one, two, three, four. We got an uh, array here. Okay. So, so this is how you take the host names or an IP addresses of an uh, Notepad or CSV, whatever it is. This is the same uh, text format we are going to use for getting the input okay so now we have uh, we have a list of uh, pieces we're going to work on so one two three four five six pieces we have to work on okay so usually in uh, if, if, if you do some kind of automation you have to go inside into one pc one pc one pc right so one by one one by one you have to go so for that we're going to use for each for each I'm going to take the computers in. I'm going to take the computer, each computer in computers. So open the braces and close the braces. Okay. Now write host. Dollar computer computers no? computer okay so what this will do the, this is a loop function okay so this computers is having and six objects 
So this is the six object, entire object. So it, it will take each for each for each means each for each content in the uh, object array object stores here one by one one by one one by one. So if I click on this, see now it, it goes into one 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 by one one by one one by one. So okay, this is what we require. So now we can able to log in into the single machine and perform what kind of automation we want to do and exit then it will go we can go for a second machine perform the automation and exit third we can log into the machine perform automation exit so so on we can do such kind of things so so this is how the for each works okay so uh, you just understand this so we, now you guys know so now you guys know what is variable how to get the input this is also kind of input okay click content is a kind of input okay so this is for which we have done so now we're going to if else we will see lost okay now we're going to output the file so how you will output the file i'm going to instead of writing the worst I'm going to save, uh, I'm going to output at, output each file as G with the computer name I'm going to save, okay. Uh, dollar computer dot, I'm going to save it as text file. So here I'm going to use out file with the braces here. So what it's going to do is it's going to give one, two, three, four, five, six outputs. Let's see. Let's run and see. So it's done now. Let's go to the G drive. I have created a folder called output so that uh, so MP, so MP UTR, okay, computer. So to understand, so because my, my G drive is so messy, it will, we can it, it will cons, confuse us. So I, I have created a few new file. So it will keep this side by side so you can understand it better. So what it's going to do is it's going to output uh, all the six files individual uh, all the six files as an individual text files. I click on this. Now it, it has displayed everything as an individual text file. You can see this. So it's everything is empty, right? So I'm going to perform something. So I want to give an input. So if I open any of this file, it's empty. I'm going to have something inside this uh, notepad. How can you do that? Else, I'm going to give a same computer here. So I'm going to add a pipe symbol here. So the pipe symbol says, what are the output, whatever the output of this variable is going to store inside this text file. So I'm going to quickly delete all this. Um, when I click run, now it's been run. If you go and check inside, see my PC2, my PC2, my PC1, my PC1, so my PC6, the PC6. So okay, uh, this is how you output the file. Now what you're going to do, I'm going to do is, I'm just going to have a text file here, okay? So the if and if if function we're going to use, okay. So the computer, the computer is equals to double quotes my PC one. If it's my if it's the computer is equal to my PC one, then what you're going to do is run this. Okay, else if it's not my PC1, then don't output the file, please don't output the file, just write, oh, write, post. So this is what, uh, so the if else function, what we have write, written here is, Whenever the my computer value is 
equals to my PC1, then it will execute and outputs a file. Whenever it this this uh, logic, th whenever this fails, it's going to output uh, just simply output a computer. So what you're going to do if my PC is if if you output the my PC one rest and all it will uh, display it here. Okay, let's quickly delete this. And if I run this, see the one is displayed here. So see only one is coming up. So I'm not going to I'm um, then not equal to. So the NE is means not equal to EQ is equal is equal to. So I, I will show I will link a, a, a reference document of on a, okay I, I will link the those things below this video itself okay. So if it's not equal to me my PC one then it will output. I'm going to do the reverse now. It will it will display only my PC one rest and all it's going to output here. If I click on this, see my PC one is displayed here. This and all is here. This much is very this much is enough for us to get started in PowerShell automation. And I'll wait for my next video. It's going to come up very soon. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video. I'm going to see you in my next video. Thank you.